Hi everyone, welcome back. I finished my previous video by briefly mentioning one of the major issues with relying on the export of primary commodities to fuel trade growth and then development. And that was the fact that in the long run, terms of trade will decline for countries that over-specialize in the export of natural resources and primary commodities. That hypothesis is known as the Prebish Singer hypothesis. Um, and very simply, there will be a long run decline in the terms of trade for countries that depend on natural resource exports. Just briefly remind ourselves of what the terms of trade are. Remember, the terms of trade is an index of export prices over the index of import prices multiplied by 100. Um, we start with a base figure of 100 and we compare everything to 100. So if there is an improvement in the terms of trade, either <coughs> the index of export prices increase relative to import prices or the index of import prices has fallen relative to the index of, in of export prices. Um, we say that's an improvement in the terms of trade. The opposite is true for a deterioration of the terms of trade. So what Premish and Singer said is that well, countries that rely on the export of natural resources are going to suffer from a long-term de decline in the terms of trade. In the long term, um, the figures will end up, the terms of trade figures will end up going lower and lower and lower. Now why is that? The very simple argument comes down to income elasticity of demand for exports and imports in developing countries and what drives that is the wealth effect. What Prebish and Singer argue is that the exports, natural resources, primary commodities, these exports of developing countries are quite income inelastic. So when income increases in the world there might be an increase in demand for these things, but not hugely. They are classed as necessity goods. They might be normal goods, but they are necessity goods. The problem is what imports are and how imports link to IED. Prebish and Singer argue that what developing countries import are very income elastic. So when people get richer, they actually demand a lot more of what developing countries import, which are capital imports which are manufactured goods, essentially. And the problem with that is, in the last 20, 30, 40, even 50 years, the world has got a lot of richer. Growth in the, in the globalised, uh, global economy has increased massively, and average incomes have risen massively. And all that's done is it's driven demand for manufactured products. And what that's done is increase the price of manufactured products massively relative to the price of primary products, which have stayed relatively low and stable. And Prebish and Singer argue that in the long term, that pattern will continue because of income elastic normal goods like manufactured products and income inelastic goods, normal goods but necessity goods like primary products. As a result, in the long term, import prices are likely to increase much faster than export prices are for these developing countries, which means in the long term they're going to suffer from a fall in the terms of trade, a worsening of the terms of trade, which in simple terms means that for a developing country to import the same amount of goods and services they're importing before, they need to export more to actually gain revenues, enough revenue to fund higher prices of imported goods. And that's not good. That's not good for um, well-being, and quality of life of people in the developing country. They have to export more and they're only getting the same back in return. Not good for their well-being, not good for their quality of life, not good for their material standards of living either. In the long term, they become worse off. Development actually suffers as a result of this hypothesis here. And what Prebish and Singer actually advise is that, look, there might be short-term swings here. The terms of trade in the short term may improve. So in the last five years, there had been a big increase in the price of natural resources. So, Prebish and Singer say this may happen in the short term, in which case developing countries need to act on it. They need to realise that, oh, this is only a short term phenomenon, a short term equilibrium. Let's gain extra export revenues as our terms of trade may improve in the short term. But instead of just using those revenues to buy more imports, to buy more capital imports, use those revenues to diversify the economy. Use those revenues to break away from undue dependence on primary products. If you do that, then you can prevent this massive issue of long-term decline in the terms of trade. And actually, you can benefit from not only exporting primary products, but you can also export and diversify, exporting manufactured goods, semi-finished goods, or even finished goods, instead of just primary products. 
Okay, so that's the privileged signal hypothesis, something else that can hold back the development of developing countries if too much reliance is placed on trade, but especially on the trade of primary commodities. Thanks for watching, we'll continue with trade going forward. See you then.